Before you trick out your car to make it go faster or look better, make sure the upgrades won't cost you money in fines or worse. Here are some of the oddest car modifications that are illegal in most states. Now you already know it's illegal to text while driving in almost all states, but what about watching a video screen? In most states, a viewer or screen is not allowed to be where the driver can see it, nor can it block the driver's view of the road according to AAA. GPS is the only exception, but states like Arkansas and Georgia have no restrictions. Now, in general, you can add a roof rack to your vehicle and haul your stuff. It's an option in most vehicles. In most states, there are preferred safe, legal ways to transport your cargo. That includes a maximum height, length, and width law. In Oregon, the vehicle height, including load, cannot exceed 14 feet. Not to mention, you need to secure your goods. There is a slew of violations that would come with anything dropping onto the road. Want to tint your windows for privacy to block out the sun or just to look cool? That's fine. Some tinting is allowed, but it varies widely from state to state and from window to window. For example, Florida has a lengthy set of rules. Side windows can be tinted, but the material must have a total solar reflectance of visible light of no more than 25% and a light transmittance of at least 28% in the visible light range. Hanging an air freshener or even fuzzy dice from your rear view could be a violation in your state. For example, California prohibits placing an object that obstructs or reduces the driver's clear view through the windshield or side windows. In Virginia, very similar, it's considered illegal to drive on the highway if there's anything hanging anywhere in the car that could block the driver's clear view of the road through the windshield and the front side windows. License plates can be touchy. In Washington, my state, if a holder, frame, or similar item changes your license plate or makes it unreadable, it's illegal. You can use it if it doesn't cover the license and allows the license plates to be clearly visible at all times. While on the subject of license plates, your state may also consider it illegal to permanently remove the front one or to add a covering protector over the rear one. If your new, bigger, beefy tires and wheels stick out from the wheel wells, you may be breaking the law. Utah requires the top half of the tires to be, quote, covered by the original fenders by rubber or other flexible fender extenders under any loading conditions. In Rhode Island, drivers aren't permitted to travel on the highway if the tires extend beyond the fenders or body of the vehicle unless it has flaps or guards to reduce spray or splash in the rear and sides. Don't be tempted to screw in color light bulbs. In Montana, you can't drive a vehicle on a highway if it has headlamps that are made with, covered by, or treated with a tinted or colored material, substance system, or component that obscures the headlamps or diminishes the distance of visibility required by this section. <laughs> Want to give your car a suspension a lift? Of course. First, find out what's okay in your state. For example, in California, the maximum frame height is 23 inches, and Delaware doesn't want the bumper height to exceed 22 inches from the ground to the bottom of the bumper. Often, the allowable bumper height change is tied into the gross vehicle weight rating. For example, Maryland caps it at 28 inches for trucks and multi-purpose vehicles at 10,000 pounds or less. Mississippi law says you can't lift the original vehicle bumper height more than 8 inches total. The front and rear suspension lift must be six inches or less. As with lifting your vehicle, your state law may vary when it comes to lowering it. Virginia says that vehicle suspensions can't be modified if it causes the chassis or body to touch the ground, expose the gas tank, which makes sense, or cause the wheels to come in contact with the body under normal operation. And last but not least, some states allow radar detectors for passenger vehicles, but not for commercial vehicles. Others, like the District of Columbia and Virginia, put the kibosh on them entirely. What's considered a commercial vehicle? Pennsylvania is, like many other states, defining it as the transporting of goods and passengers for compensation, so be sure to read the fine print. Until next time, I'm Dave Eriks with Everyman Driver. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe. Hope to see you back here next time. Adios. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done. You can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comments section below.